<laughs> what you saying people? I'm Suf. Today's the first episode of Sue Sofa. Yeah. Special guest, Mr. Chris Moore from Future Theory. How you doing, this guy's sick, his band's sick. Features on our album Mixed Personalities. Yeah, uh, six of the tracks. Yeah. Six yeah. of the tracks. So uh, what we're doing today, we're just having a little chat, a bit of promotion, and eating some hot food. As you can see, we've got the sauces, we've got a little drink and ting, and we're just gonna jam and have it. How are you doing, Chris, man? Tell, tell people about yourself and your band, man. Hi, folks. I'm uh, Chris Moore. I'm lead guitarist and co-writer of Future Theory. We're a psych rock, alternative psych rock band based in Lincoln. Uh, we just Last year, we released our first EP, Fool's Dream. Uh, we've had a bit of interest. Had a bit of interest for BBC introducing Fender, Q Magazine, so doing quite well. Six months ago we released our first live EP. We recently just dropped an acoustic track the other day. Um, and we're currently demoing our first ever album, so hopefully that'll be out next year. You come to realize that there's to me more to life than this. There you go, people. <laughs> right, so uh, should we get crack on with a little bit of spice in this? Yeah. So this first one here, yeah, is El Cholula hot sauce, and uh, I've tried this quite nice. So I can have this on chips, like sandwiches, anything, absolutely anything. But probably more flavour than anything else. Nice. We'll give it a go and tell me what you think. Man. I need a bit of that JD to wet my mouth first. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Not doing much spice, is there? Really? Just flavour, mate. So, when's your next show? Come on up with Future Fury then. We're playing at the uh, Birdcage in Lincoln on the 11th of November. And I think we've got a show in Sheffield in December, we're just confirming the date. Okay. We're mainly just focused on, on recording because we want to get our first ever album out next year. Uh, we're demoing at home at the moment, getting all the ghost tracks done. And then we've got contact through Rowan to record drums down in London, totally free of charge. Yeah, uh, quite good, like industry standard. <coughs> and then we haven't decided how we're going to do everything else yet. Well, so the next one, I'm not even going to try and pronounce. Sriracha. So, ah, there you go, Sriracha. Most of it's all in foreign label. But again, you see these at like, if you go get a burger from the market or something like that, do you know what I mean? You see them in like bad houses and things like that, just on the side. So I'm not going to get a heart attack. No, no. <laughs> well, let's just clear one thing up. If anyone's going to have hearts, I think so. It's going to be me. <laughs> no guests. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's the old sriracha. This is the extra hot. Yeah. In Kona Taste Explorers. West Boston Indian food. extra hot pepper sauce. Mm. You see how it blows off, you think, like, <laughs> right there. These actually have got quite a few sauces out in the shops, and um, I've tried quite a few from that company, and I like them all. I've not come across that one that I don't like. I wouldn't say it's my favourite. I think this one's probably my favourite, the Nando's, but we'll get to that one in a bit. But yeah, the old extra hot sauce. Let's give this one a bit of a go. Mm. They're all really tasty as well, I'd say mm. more so. I, I mean, we're not really gotten to the spicy ones yet. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be for the last. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they've all just been more tasty than We were just outside smoking before um, we come in here, I could say to him, like, 
like, oh, just get it. He was like, how hot are they? I think it's hard because some the people can handle different hot spices, can't they? And the heats and things like that. But when we were saying to Chris, when we tried one of the last ones the other week, the other month, we cried. <laughs> so we made sure that we didn't put as much on it this time. We didn't want to be passing out. That's <laughs> because I nearly passed out. <laughs> So is uh, your new uh, CD and that's on iTunes and Spotify and stuff? Yeah, Fool's Dream, it's uh, nearly it'll be a year on the 28th of October, it's gone got really quick, we've done so much. Like, How many downloads have you had on it? How many? Downloads. Downloads. Is it, all, is um, it downloads? Yeah, well, we, 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 like we, we pushed it a lot um, with CD, we sold about 100 copies of the CD. In CD, yeah. Yeah. Um, but on, on Spotify we've probably had about maybe a thousand, a couple of thousand streams. That's including all five tracks on the EP. Yeah, for the EP. But like our, our track Iron Storm pre Spotify iTunes, that had about 2,000 on SoundCloud. Okay. Um, it got picked up by Fender, the best of September playlist. Oh, wow, wicked. Like I, I've circulated our music amongst like um, like the underground. Mm. Um, that's something like you guys need to try and do, like just get, get I think them out there and the underground. One thing that uh, we've been doing recently, one thing that we've been doing recently that um, AJ quite a lot is like, obviously because we're smokers, we've got a few smoking songs in that, we've been hitting up like smoker groups. Yeah. So you've got stoners from all around the world. You've got stoners from all around the world, all on this, and they're all doing like things that just them smoking. And AJ, Cotton Donnie was like, why don't we just go on there with a few bifters and that, play the guitar and spit some bars and sing? Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and it went down really, 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 really well. And until we got, got told off, and then we got told off. We got told off for promoting, promoting, and advertising our own music. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not by Facebook, by the group. Yeah. By the by the group admin. So then, which led us to go and make our own. Yeah. Which uh, is now got a slow community slowly building up. Yeah, I've um, seen it. I think I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs> Quite possibly. Okay, well this is a Nando sauce. Mm. It's probably one of my favourites. Peri Peri sauce, medium. I like Peri Peri sauce, yeah. But, uh, this is probably one of one of my favourites for flavour. Um, yeah. But, I mean AJ's never been to a Nando's and I said oh, you've got to go to a Nando's. And, uh, have some cheeky banter. Yeah, have some. No, it's not. Nando, there's nothing. <laughs> Tom said this the other day. Yeah, Tom said this the other day. There's nothing cheeky about a Nando shit. It's a fucking chicken. <laughs> you get a cheeky spliff, you know, a cheeky drink, a cheeky line, a cheeky wank, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> not fucking cheeky chicken. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway, back to back to the business at hand. Nando's Perry Perry sauce, medium. Yeah. So, again, I know this one said extra hot. Yeah, and this one should say medium, but the thing is we actually do check out the Schofields online. Schofields. Schofields, <laughs> not Schofields. Philip Schofields. Philip Schofields. Hey! Yeah, done yeah, though. Yeah, 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 this morning. <laughs> <laughs> the Schofields, corrected by AJ. So, that's what uh, I'm here for, man. Yeah, so that's why they're so in this order. I'm, I'm guessing, yeah, that it's been gradually increased. Yeah, so it's in that order. See, which the is problem good. is... The last two, there's no build up to them. Like, yeah, there's oh, a massive, massive, gap. Gap. massive gap. Yeah, you're going from like 1,000 to like 3,000. <laughs> like, boom! Like, <laughs> so let's get let's get this over and done with, right. and then we'll get to the mad dog 3,000s. Okay. Right. Let's go. Mm. Always taste that lime. Do you taste that lime? Mm. Tiny. Mm. Yeah, that's what's nice about that number, isn't it? Mm. Well, we've got to go there. We've all got to have yeah, to go there. Yeah. We need to complain and get them on, to open one in Grantham. Now goes in Grantham. Let's sign a petition. Ollie, I want halloumi and sweet potato. <laughs> yeah, that weren't too bad at all, was it? It was mouth tingling at all. Not at all, mate. Not at all. No. I think these next two are going to be an absolute shocker. Yeah. 
So, um, what, we've been at festivals this year. We've been to any festivals this year? Gig Danny or... Yeah. Um, we played Festival 8 up in uh, Grimsby. Well, not... It was near Grimsby, really yeah. rural Lincolnshire, Cable and Parker. Played a show there. End of July, that was a really good experience. Um, we played just on one of the smaller stages, but we're impressed. Revisit really next year? Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to give us a main yeah. stage slot for next year. Yeah, oh, I love that. Yeah. You deserve it, man. Mm. Like, I was in Dan Gate and that. Uh, look, feel, feeling it, man. Feeling the vibes and that. Like, I lost in a trance. It was that trippy, nice sound. No, no, and again, yeah. like, drummer pops to the drummer because there's some drops in there that was coming in with the drums. I was just that's, like, ah, that's the thing about us as a band. I'd say sick. I'd say I'm actually the only guy in the band that like listens to our sort of music. Like the other guys, they take inspiration from totally different sources. To me, mm. like that's good though. Yeah, yeah definitely. That's, that's why good. I've got a unique sound. Like, yeah, I think yeah, we're all yeah, just I've never heard anyone like you. Yeah, I think if we we're all listening to what I was listening to, then we'd probably just be a, a bit more generic. If we, if we were two on the same page. The fact that we clash a lot creatively, you know, it's probably the same for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Create something unique. So, uh, should we crack on with the next one? Yeah, definitely. Look at this one. Right, this yeah. Do you want to smell a bit? Six million. Million. Disclaimer warning here. Six Chris, million yeah. Than Scoville, yeah? Mad Dog Free. Now, Mad I've Dog. tried this one on the tip of my finger. I've not had it on chicken yet. This will be the first time I've tried Jesus. it on chicken, yeah? Let's have a little whiff of that. It smells like quite potent though, doesn't it? Yeah, that nice dark. This one, uh, we uh, got this one off the internet. <laughs> there is a disclaimer. Look, yeah, there is a warning. Use at your very own risk. Peter yeah, Perry might need a new lead guitar. <laughs> yeah, if we kill him, sorry, guys. <laughs> it does say here that if you take this and something goes wrong, you can't sue the company. <laughs> There's a whole leaflet and everything like that about it. So, uh. Let's crack on. Yeah. Right, look at that big dot. I'm going to take that where that sauce is like. Oh. I just felt that, man, right in the back of my throat. <laughs> I don't say that often, don't get no idea. <laughs> How are you feeling, Chris? What do you reckon? It's burning me. Is it? Creeps up on you. Careful with the water, that tends to make it worse as well. Really? Because mm -hmm. it cools it down and then it just comes back with a vengeance. But... <clears throat> You've eaten all of that? I can tell. <coughs> yeah, you're quite well, man. I was fucking slapping. Get it down. over and done with. The quicker you get it over and done with, the quicker you can get on with the pain and get over the pain. I was flapping all around the room. Well done. Done. I can't, I can't finish that. That's cool, if you can't finish yeah. that bit, that's cool. Like, I'm like this after one bite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for the next one. No. <laughs> so the next one is from Fire Foods, Blow Your Cock Off. Now these are homegrown chilli sauce, made from a house in Grantham. Look out for them at festivals. We've tried this, we've been to their house, they're lovely people. <laughs> It blew my cock off. It's about to blow your cock off, man. You ready? No. Come on, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> oh, the set was pretty. Would be. A bit of advice as well. Try not to wait for it to go. Just like do that one and then. That'll be over with them and you'll feel better. So is this one even worse? They're on the same sort of level. Roughly the same sort of level. Uh, well, he's going in, he don't want to wait for me. Look, he's like, fuck this, I'm going to get this time I'm done with. Fuck two. I'm going to fucking quit for him, but I'm going to do this myself. Jumping in there. You got a taste of that? Did you get a bit of the sauce though, or did you avoid the door? Oh, go on, get that bit right there. Go on, Chris. Go on. Do it for the band. <laughs> this is promoting your band, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the pain is worth it. Good lad. <sighs> Did you do all these earlier? Yeah. Just like all of them? <clears throat> no, not these ones today. I've done this before. But... Oh, right. Has anyone else in the band done them? 
Yeah, it was a good one. How did you react? I mean, I asked for the video. Did Tom do it? Or? Tom didn't do it. Yeah. Well done, boys. My nose is running. My tongue is tingling. Go on, take a map and bite, bro. Go on. You can't talk properly, mate. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's like man versus food, music yeah. edition. What's your new single, Chris? We've recently just released um, an acoustic version of one of our tracks, Cause and Motive. Yeah. It's available for free download on Bandcamp and SoundCloud. What's that, Future Theory? What? Future Theory, Cause and Motive. Cause and Motive. Yeah. Wicked one. So everyone go check that out. And if you're like on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and yeah. all that jazz. Yes, yeah, it. Make sure you pop yeah. their, their CDs and their t-shirt. Very nice. I'm, I'm also featured on the collectives um, recently. Yeah, Chris blessed us with his guitar skills. So definitely check that out. Uh, and if anyone would like to feature on Sue Sofa, yeah, please, please get in contact with us if you want to feature on Sue Sofa. We don't just do hot food. We'll do the lot. Drinking competitions. <laughs> the smoking competitions. Take on the, the lot. And come promote some music, burn your mouth, have a good chat, have a good snob. <laughs> One love. Is Peace. How you doing, Paul? How good.